Hi, today is Wednesday, September 16th, 2020. Today's devotion begins with a reading from Psalm 145. I will extol you, my God and King, and bless your name forever and ever. Every day I will bless you and praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. One generation shall laud your works to another and shall declare your mighty acts. On the glorious splendor of your majesty and on your wondrous works I will meditate. The might of your awesome deeds shall be proclaimed and I will declare your greatness. They shall celebrate the fame of your abundant goodness and shall sing of your righteousness. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. The Lord is good to all and his compassion is over all that he has made. All your works shall give thanks to you, O Lord, and all your faithful shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and tell of your power to make known to all people your mighty deeds and the glorious splendor of your kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and your dominion endures throughout all generations. The Lord is faithful in all his works and gracious in all his deeds. The Lord upholds all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The eyes of all look to you and you give them their food in due season. You open your hand, satisfying the desire of every living thing. The Lord is just in all his ways and kind in all his doings. The Lord is near to all who call on him, to all who call on him in truth. He fulfills the desire of all who fear him. He also hears their cry and saves them. The Lord watches over all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. My mouth will speak the praise of the Lord, and all flesh will bless his holy name forever and ever. Here ends the song. Thanks be to God. Reverend Paulette Cresswell writes, When my husband and I were students at the seminary, we once received an anonymous gift of money. While it was a timely and helpful gift for which we were grateful, I remember feeling disappointed that I was never able to personally thank this kind donor. Someone has said that happiness is seeing a beautiful sunset and knowing who to thank. This quote helps me see what was difficult about receiving this gift. I was deprived of knowing who to thank. Psalm 145 is a prayer of thanksgiving where there is absolutely no question about whom to thank. God's glory is extolled, blessed, praised, lauded, declared, sung, celebrated, and proclaimed, and with good reason. Beyond the kindness of strangers or a beautiful sunset, we thank God because we are the recipients of God's grace, mercy, patience, and never-ending love. My sister and brother-in-law live in West Central Oregon and they have been directly threatened by the ongoing wildfires that continue to rage out of control. They were forced to evacuate their home last week. Yet even in the midst of this seemingly unending crisis and life-threatening danger, they, along with other fire victims, are still able to thank and praise our Lord for His grace, mercy, patience, and never-ending love. They know whom to thank for the advance warning to evacuate, for the shelter of our mother's house during their evacuation, and for their home and thankfully their church being spared from the death of the flames. They know how to, quote, praise God from whom all blessings flow, as the old hymn goes. Let us pray. With a grateful heart, I meditate, I celebrate, I sing aloud today of your gifts, O kind God, those given to me in time 
and those promised to me through Jesus into eternity. Amen.